Car rallies have always captured the imagination. They were sometimes out-and-out -out races and sometimes driving tours with luxurious hotels along the way. And in recent years, there's been a revival in GT and supercar rallies for car enthusiasts who also want to maximize their holiday experience. It's a little bit about cars and holidays, but it's also about the luxury and exploring the finer things in life. The birth of this trend can be traced back to 1999, when a British entrepreneur named Maximilian Cooper changed the game entirely when he launched the Gumball Rally. Gumball came about back in 1999 when I basically invited my eclectic mix of famous friends and people I'd met throughout that decade to come and do a road trip with me. I didn't want to make it anything like anything that existed already. It was a wacky race, essentially. I mean, we even had an ambulance in it, kind of emulating the kind of cannibal run, Burt Reynolds style, and I thought, we'll make it an annual event, and it started to go from there. Since the second rally, I had this crazy idea to use aeroplanes mid-rally that we could fly the cars. It meant that the rally could start and finish anywhere, and so the world becomes very small. The third year's rally, I did a deal with MTV. It was a crazy show at the time called Jackass. It was a very popular show in the US, and all the guys from Jackass came on Gumball, and it aired later that year in North America and, and the rest of the world, but in North America on MTV, it was the highest watched show of the year. And so suddenly the Gumball brand amongst that MTV audience was full on in everyone's face. 20 years later, Gumball 3000 has become a huge brand, attracting some of the world's most well-known entrepreneurs and celebrities. Since day one, over 5,000 people have taken part now. So it's a really kind of amazing members club. Let's give you a stat. From the rally last year, we had 68 people in the Forbes 500. We've become a bucket list item for the rich and famous. I'm trying to make Gumball a little bit more inclusive to the public in the sense that it is on public roads and we've started to put on more and more public events during the rallies. In London we officially had a million people attend. We've done the same in Times Square and various other kind of iconic landmarks now. Almost creating Gumball Festival in each city that the event goes through is really that next phase. And whilst Gumball has become a global phenomenon, there has also been a trend in recent years for smaller, more bespoke supercar rallies, like those offered by Slap Adventures, who focus on seeking out the best driving roads in Europe. And Verve Rally, the brainchild of husband and wife team Marcus and Ashana Ubel, who are on a mission to put the luxury into the supercar rally experience. The trend is going towards experiences. Supercars and driving a supercar is an experience. The mindset of a person driving this is that my yesterday is good, but my tomorrow is going to be better. They're forward thinking. They want to enjoy life. They appreciate that the moments we have are limited on this planet. People that go on these things are time poor. They're very, very busy people, and when they do take a break, they want to maximize it. They're driving the cars they love to drive in the elements that they're actually designed for, and someone has done all the headache finding where they are and how they're going to fill it up and where are they going to stay and all of that. You can just rock up with your suitcase. If you haven't even got a car, we'll give you the keys. And also, you sort of add into that the element of meeting some other like-minded enthusiasts from different backgrounds, but they're also just equally driven people. Verve run a number of rallies throughout the year, like their five-day Spanish rally that starts in London and ends in Ibiza, with a liberal splash of luxurious hotels and parties along the way. And they are intentionally female-friendly. 35 to 40 percent of our members are female and many of them are driving the cars. Awesome cars, super people and absolutely amazing routes. You know, you've got the straight flats where you can just absolutely vomit. You've got all the winding turns up through beautiful villages. Driving a car like this in convoy along these roads isn't something that you can really put into words and it just needs to be experienced. It's unbelievable. My favourite part of the rally definitely is the driving. On a beautiful section of tarmac, which is freshly laid, you've got a convoy and your rear vision mirror of other very smiling and happy drivers, uh, and then afterwards parking up and regaling a few stories on what was your favourite part of it that stood out for you today. The drive was amazing, the weather was amazing, conditions were absolutely perfect. When you're driving in a supercar going through mountains and twists and turns, there's no possibility of being somewhere else. You have to be in the moment 100%. You can't be in the past, you can't be in the future. You have to be 100% focused. Here we are in the beautiful Spanish mountains. Buenos dias, have a lovely day. The Tamil Spa was just perfect after a long day of driving. 
we have a supercar traffic jam. But providing this sort of experience takes some planning. So when we're organising 30, 40 people flying in from all over the world, visiting three, four, five locations over many days, there are a lot of moving parts. On the rally, we have a lead car and I drive that car. Marcus. Capitan in the house, hey. Russian co-pilot. You're giving them the confidence behind you that there's someone that's sort of upfront and adapting to the conditions as they sort of unfold. There is an entry requirement for the cars, which are GT and supercars. We've had a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or a McLaren, a Porsche, Bentley, Maserati, the GT side of things, Aston Martin, your DB11s, all the way up to hypercars. So when all said and done, what's the big attraction of these supercar rallies? We drive a lot, yeah, but this is something else that stands out. I recommend it to any and everyone who wants to really experience motor racing at its best. I like the uh, idea of doing something different. Uh, never done anything like it. Uh, I just thought it would be a great experience. Uh, I didn't know what I was coming in for, but I, so far it has uh, over exceeded my expectations. 